Right, just doing a little test with trifolar coil, some LEDs, and the square wave generator. And I'm just trying out some a few things. Basically, the um, powered with the 12 volt battery there. And at the moment, we're drawing about 30 milliamps. Supply 12 point. The supply is about 12.18 volts. And at the moment, I'm getting 60 volts across the capacitor there, which is from the square wave generate, which is there, pulsing at 120 microseconds, which is about 8,333 8, hertz at the moment. We're producing 60 volts, DC 30 milliamps, 12.18. Now it's been like this. It's been like that for most of the day now. I was just wondering, I've got the magnet connected and every time I move the magnet, you get a slight fluctuation in the voltage. Not much, but just a little bit. The current increases as well, current drain. But as I, as I increase the frequency, you start to get I'm using this little pot here to increase the frequency on the 555 timer. But this is at the highest at the moment, the highest frequency. So as I drop it, I start to get some funny noises coming from the coil there. And at the same time, We've gone up to, across the capacitor now, we've got 340 volts. And the current has gone up to 148 milliamps. Obviously the voltage has dropped. But I think part of the experiment is basically just to drop the frequency as low as possible, which is what I'm doing now with the pot. As a, the voltage has been steady and it's been running these two LEDs through mutual inductance on the other two windings on the coil. So one of the windings is actually being switched by the square wave and just few, through the transformer effect mutual inductance and powering these two LEDs. But I can't understand why on the higher frequency the current is, the current is minimal so there's no, been no voltage drop at all. And it's puzzling because as I'm moving this magnet, the current is increasing. So, so what I do is I'll drop this as low as it can go. And if you look, we've gone up to the across the across the capacitor there. We're getting 434 volts DC, but we're now drawing 333 milliamps. But as I pull the magnet across the field, I'm getting these fluctuations. So it's going up and down. Now the voltage has dropped to 12.01. But it's strange, because I would have thought that the frequency, as you increase the frequency, the voltage would have dropped because you it's actually switching on more is switching the inductor on more and more. So what I do is, as I drop, as I increase the frequency now, we've got the voltage across the capacitor. See, I'm, I've dropped down now to 200 milliamps. The voltage has gone up to 12.5, but I'm still producing 435 volts across the capacitor there. But yeah, it's just an ex ongoing experiment. Just have to see how it goes. Pull this back up. Let's pull that back up to 8K, 8, 8,333 hertz, and just keep that going. And this voltage starts to rise again. 13, 14, We've dropped that back down to 30 milliamps at 60 volts, 60 volts across the capacitor there. So 
I'm just going to sit and leave it. It seems like the, the battery's because the square wave, the kickback, the kickback from the um, as I turn this up, the frequency increases. You can see the voltage there. If I change the time base on it, the voltage seems to increase more and more. The lower the frequency. this dual trace now we're up to about two this is times 10 so that's we're on 240 volts now it's producing 240 volts uh, 200 volts sorry 200 volts DC at 0.084 and it's gone back up to 12 now and basically that's I'll have to calculate the frequency but we'll wait and see further investigation needed. See ya.